What's up guys, Mobet 876RC signing back on and today we are going to be running the Lozy Pro Moto for the first time. I got mine two days ago. Uh, I was surprised I didn't get any kind of notification let me know they were shipping it out. Came home and this thing was magically at my doorstep. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get this thing on the ground and see how she ripped. Alright, here we go. First run with the Lozy Pro Moto. I got a, uh, I believe it's a, a Gen Zace 5200 milliamp 100C 2S LiPo in there. Just trying to get a feel for it real quick before I go crazy. See how she turn. Pretty smooth. I'm gonna try to see here, maybe on the next battery pack to get it a little bit more dialed in. Cause I know she can lean this a little bit better, more aggressive if you mess with the controls. But like I said, this is the first run. Just trying to get a feel for it. Barely tapping the throttle, just enough to keep it up. Willy action. <laughs> yeah, this little thing is smooth, man. I like this. Definitely way different obviously because it's a bike but uh yeah thing is dope let's try to get a wheelie from back there okay i'm digging the low z pro moto it's definitely a dope bike This thing is very scaled, like how the rider look on the bike. Probably end up changing out the fairings in the future. Get some new clothes for it. I would definitely say this is a uh, money well spent. This little thing is dope. Wanted to test it out on the black top first. Just kind of get the fundamentals for this RC right here. Next video, I think I'm gonna take it into the grass and try to hit a few jumps and see what this thing is really made of. Wouldn't be right if we just kept it on the black top. This thing is dope, man. It's not much for me to say. I'm just kind of enjoying myself with this thing right now. But if you're thinking about getting one, man, get one. It's definitely worth the money. Alright guys, I forgot to show you something before I started off the video. So I was having a major problem with trying to get my balance lead to uh, tuck under and over to the right where you see the opening where you actually plug the battery into the bike. So I did a quick, cheap, easy mod. I just took a Dremel and Dremeled out just a little bit of the battery tray so I can keep my balance wire on the left side so when I close the battery tray, it is not pinching. So yeah, that's something for you guys that you can do to your bike and use your original batteries and you don't have to worry about running out and buying the batteries without the balance lead. Comment, share, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.